to be happy about but I am happy so today imagine is day two of election I've just finished that yoga and yoga is so relaxing guys I don't even look I haven't even sweated like yoga is so relaxing and it's just all about stretching so Taraji has just woken up as I was finishing up it's 11 30 who is enjoying their holiday who is enjoying their holiday to a point where they're waking up at 11 30 <laughs> but we slept at she slept at 1, 1. I slept at 2.30. That was quite late. Because yesterday was voting day. The results were coming in. There are channels that were streaming, streaming in live. So we were trying to catch up. And then some other reasons kept me up. And for some reason, she couldn't sleep while I was still awake. So, yeah, so I just want to warm her breakfast. I already had my breakfast. I was so hungry, couldn't wait for her. So... We are about to have a new president in Kenya. So today is day two. The results are still streaming in. So we're just waiting. And we're not just voting for a new president. We are voting for new senators, governors, merits. I'm just anxious. We just wait and see. And let's hope that the next leader or leaders will actually think about Kenyans and not just themselves and how they can. Just hope. Hey guys, I want to record a sit down YouTube video. I like it's been a while since I, I did good makeup, thorough makeup. Like these days I just do the basics, even lab braids are not done, but I've not done serious makeup in a while. So there's one thing I wanted to add. I wanted to add blush. I normally use, what is that palette? I normally use this part, this one. This is eyeshadow. I normally, this is what I normally use as my blush. Because I like that pinkish, pinkish color. But I know that you can some also use lipstick. That's what I want to try today. Hmm. There was this TikTok I was watching where they say if you want to match your blush to your, if you want your blush and your lipstick to have the same color, use the lipstick. Why isn't it? How much should have applied it before applying foundation? Them, 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 them. Let's see if it is to blend. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's something I need to do right, and I don't have time to figure it out because I want to shoot. So let me just use my my usual blush. Can you see? Can you see? Without struggling. Ah, 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 ah. Let's blend this. Ah, so oh, this is how I like it. So when I'm talking to someone, they're like, "Oh my god, you're so shy. You're blushing." I'm like, hey, "I'm blushing. My cheeks are actually are turning red." <laughs> Too much is blush. We can shape shift. If men know we can shape shift, they're going to tell the church. If you don't know what I'm talking about. Forget about it. But imagine, guys, I have eyelashes. Very beautiful eyelashes I bought from my friend's uh, daughter. She sells them. Imagine, look at them. Okay, now there are two in here. These are the lashes I bought. But I don't know how to put on lashes. I have watched tutorials. I even have lash glue. Where is the lash glue? I have everything, including lash glue, but I don't know how to put on lashes. I have watched tutorials on YouTube. I put on the glue and then I'm just like. <laughs> 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 I 
ni ushamba ama ni nini but i know they look good i don't know if they are too long also because i have these ones they are natural a bit more natural when i attended that gala last year if you watch that video i had a makeup artist so after playing makeup on me she, she i gave her this she was like linda you're going to embarrass yourself in front of these high profile people with eyelashes that are doing this in front of important people that that girl had politicians and stuff she was like no they are nice but not for this occasion so i'm going to give you this one she gave me these ones <laughs> i've also never put them on but one of these days one of these days we're going to rock them so this is it i love this dress so much let me move so you can see the length yeah so here's the full dress this is the full length i like it because it's beautiful and decent too see see <laughs> But first things first, I want to sit down and do some work for about 20-30 minutes. There's some work I submitted to a client and they wanted me to add something, writing job. So that's what I want to do and then I'll go to the living room to film that video. It's an August reset video. This is my first time doing this kind of video. They tell me that I'm wasting time Tell me something I don't know you left fingerprints across my mind I tried covering them but they still show If I had a choice And whether or not I'd be moved on from you by now If I had a voice or a shot I'd let in you go and put in you down You know I would but still I'm Doesn't want to know I know that it's no good and I should Hey guys, welcome to this August reset video. This is a monthly reset video where I'm just going to check you through how I plan for my August. And that's a wrap. I'm done. I started in the living room because there are things I was writing down and then I moved here because there are things I was showing you guys on the computer on my Google Drive. So if you've not watched that video, it will go up before this. You go and watch. And this is my first time doing a monthly reset video. Like I'm so proud of myself. I know it's 10th. I know it's like more than a week has passed by, but you know what? Better late than never. Don't ever procrastinate and be like, you know what? I'll just start next month. You know what? I'll just start next week. You do what you can for now. Because those goals that I've outlined that I want to achieve, I'll achieve them for the next three weeks. That's There's no problem. <sighs> so guys, I'm tired. See you later. Mm. Well, just to give you a recap of uh, the final tallies here in a Lego Songa uh, constitu uh, constituency. Another lazy afternoon The clouds covered in grey Third coffee of the day Almost fell asleep on soon I yawn at the display Third meeting of the day But I can hear raindrops that dancing on the my 
favorite chiffon dress. I don't care the. out of pegs i'm telling you but we are done so that's it we are going back to the house <laughs> so today is day three of counting votes people voted on monday today is on thursday hey <laughs> i'm telling you and i'm just following the news here so i just want to see who is winning i mean this whatsapp group so yesterday this girl she just cracked me up so she said that she has one news channel, I think in TV, on the screen on the TV, and then she's watching another channel, Citizen, from the laptop, and then on her phone, she's on Twitter and the IEBC portal. <laughs> so she's trying to keep up with who's winning on all platforms, because you know sometimes they give different news. You go to Citizen, you see that maybe your preferred candidate is winning. You go to another news station, they have different votes, because I, I do think their votes are coming in differently. I don't know how they are doing it, but they are not reporting the same thing at the same time. <laughs> Some people are like trying to get the news from everyone, and then there are those who are just getting, I don't, I don't know, the news from where and posting on social media, things that are not even true. <laughs> Someone said that if you're watching a news channel and you get discouraged, look for the channel where your preferred candidate is winning. <laughs> so let's just wait and see. Hey, new president loading. Sasa. Ah, bingu ya wasa niko. Niki ya kukuchi. Guys, I want to cook rice with this. These are type of I can't say green grams because the other green grams are green and then there is there are these ones which are like brown or maroonish we call them denguya western <laughs> i don't know about western or kulanga is it we say denguya western it is delicious with rice so my rice is cooking over there and who's watching while she's cooking <laughs> Yeah, I have this far away from here. I'm watching this girl. She's called Sally Nangila. She's a celebrity makeup artist in Kenya. As I cook on this side. So guys, as I was in the market, the MC who has won, he just passed by with this campaign vehicle and was telling people, thank you, the residents of Tatata, for voting for me. And it reminded me of this MC. I don't know if you're Kenyan, you would remind me, because I know you don't know this person. He lost and then alerted his people, the residents of the place he was buying, that they should never say hi to him when they meet him on the street. <laughs> I'm like, 
yeah, you can just lie to me, you me, but you did not vote for me. Don't you ever greet me. <laughs> If you remember who that was, I can comment down below. <laughs> that really amused me. I normally cook this very simply, just onions, tomatoes. Let the tomatoes cook. Much. So guys, something happened as I was buying. I was buying bananas in the market. So there's this particular person whom I normally don't buy from because I had a previous not so good experience. I didn't like their customer service, so I normally don't buy from them because of the season we are in right now. Not every shop or a kiosk is open, so I didn't get bananas, and then he had them. So I was like, ah, oh, let me just buy bananas from him. So he was talking to another lady about Minji, Minji's green peas. He was preparing the green peas and then he stopped. I asked him how much the bananas were, he told me, and then he stopped. I gave him the money, he stopped preparing the Minjis, took the money and then came and gave me the bananas. So as I was leaving, he's like, but you haven't given me the money. I'm like, I gave you the money before you even gave me the bananas. And he was very rude by the way. He was like, you haven't given me the money. I tried to explain to him. I was like, yeah, when you were standing there, when you were paying the ninja, I gave you the money. Don't you remember? And then you came around and gave me the bananas. Wah. Hey, hey. Like if you're a business person, really learn about customer care. It is important. It, customer care can make or break your business. Even if you are selling the most quality, People can just decide to buy somewhere else. There was one day I went to buy potatoes from him. So he had them on these um, cabbage containers. So they were full to the brim. And I was like, can you uh, put one container for me? Because normally they're supposed to do That's what they do. They transfer the potatoes from the container to your shopping bag or something. He didn't have any other client. He was just standing like this. And then he was like, you just put it yourself. So as I was grabbing the container to pour in my shopping bag, two potatoes rolled on the ground. So I just got them because they were mine and I put them in my shopping bag. Yeah. This man started telling me, are you a drunkard? Are you drunk? Why are your hands unstable? Your hands are trembling. Do you drink? Are you drunk right now? Is that why the poor, you can't even handle potatoes? They're just rolling on the ground. I was like, and he kept going, with, are you a drunkard? Are you a drunkard? And in my head, I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm not a drunkard. And surely, you are supposed, you are the one who was even supposed to be doing this, not me. And I haven't complained, I've picked the potatoes, I'm going with them. So today, when he said again, no, you haven't paid me, you need to give me my, I was like, I paid you. And I remember that incident, I was like, and then so the other day you said I was a drunk, and today you want to say I'm a thief. In my head I was like, I know go fit and go insult, oh. I know go fit and go insult, oh. <laughs> so I told him, I cannot pay you twice, I already paid you. People should learn customer care. If you're a business owner, learn customer care. Learn how to talk to your customer. You know? would have come and be like, I, I don't remember you paying me. Did you, are you sure you paid me? You know that is, he wasn't, you didn't pay me, give me the money. I'm like, I am not giving you the money twice. I am not doing that. You're mixed with water to thicken it. I like mixing Reiko with water so I don't end up with lumps, you know, eating the lumps. Just a little bit of water and then cover it and let it cook for a few minutes, less than 10, because everything is ready. So in the meantime, I want to just cut two bananas. These are the bananas that gave me problems. <laughs> You're going to eat them with the rice and that dengu and i'm telling you i don't know why no one ever told me that rice with bananas is the real deal because the rice with avocado slaps in a different way yummy 
But rice with bananas, even rice, bananas, and beans. Oh my god. Since I discovered. Since I discovered this, I love it. And Taraji loves bananas too. So it's a win win. I'm not going anywhere in the morning, but I just want to cook and to boil this, make it ready for tea in the morning. I'm just cooking it as tea. So tomorrow I'll just warm and that's it. It's not a part today, but I have an important work thing. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Tea leaves, tea masala, cinnamon. I've run out of the rosemary. That's the fourth thing I normally add. And then we boil. Ooh, and just like that. Our meal is ready. Sometimes I add coriander or cilantro. I don't know. Other times I don't. So this is how it looks, guys. So yummy. Try it. Kids love it. And I think our rice is also ready. Nice. Taraji is just chilling. So this is the final thing. I'm telling you this food is delicious. Ooh. So we just want to eat and we'll catch up tomorrow. Okay. Hey guys, I have a meeting. Not a meeting, an interview in about 15 minutes. It's on Zoom. I'm trying to these are the problems of living alone. How am I supposed to zip up myself? Jeez. So So it's an interview for a book writing job. I'm tense. If you cannot tell, I'm using yeah, this camera. Yeah, that's okay. I don't like video interviews, but there's this job that I applied for on a park. That's where I get my job. It's a writing job. And then it is actually on something I've ever written about. I've ever written a book on intermittent fasting for women who are like 50 years and above. And she wanted something similar. So she told me I sent other samples. Of course, I can't send these samples. Someone already paid me for that. I can't share their work. So she was like, ordinarily, you would have gotten the job. I would have picked you. But what... I'm worried about is that you may just copy paste or since you've already done a book on this, just submit the same book and then get paid. And I was like, okay, I never thought of that. But I guess there are people who maybe do that. That's something you should never do. If someone pays you to do a work, you just do that original work. So I had to like give a point. I was like, thank you for raising this concern. And it is very valued, first of all. But that will never happen because number one, that is more ethical. I have never done it. And if someone pays me to do their job, then I take the time to research on it and give them original work. Number two, I'm a ghost writer. So once I write something and I'm get paid for it, I don't have the rights to the work. I cannot use that work somewhere else. Number three, researching is one of my strongest skills. I then gave them an example. There's a time I did an, uh, 20 articles on abortion for one client. And they were all different. I was like, researching is one of my... I can research and I know how to write material on the same topic that are all unique. Number four, I told her the other client also, she there are some things she wanted me to include. For example, she wanted me to talk about keto diet also a bit and some other things which I cannot say. But I know that you have a different idea also on how you want your book to feel. So obviously it cannot be the same. And she was like, that makes sense. I'm going to add you among the candidates that I've shortlisted and I want to have a video call with you so we can go through this. <sighs> I can't talk much. So this is the dress that I had worn. I don't know if you can't do it. It looks too official. I know blue is a color for... Blue is like a corporate, I'm a serious thing, but it looks too official. I'm thinking, and it's a video call, so it's just going to show up to here. Maybe just put it on after the after the, the interview. I remove it. I am tense. I can do this. It's not bad. Oh, I can 
I'm just scared. Jesus Christ. I think this is better. That was too efficient. And since yes, I, I have on a trouser, but since they're only going to see up to here, they won't know. Socks. Ugh. I don't like video interviews. <laughs> Ninety-eight percent of clients on the apart that we're working, they are okay with just sending you a message. But there's a two percent who like video interviews. So I'm ready. The interview is on Zoom. So I have my laptop here. I have my notebook. If I have to, I need to take down notes. I have my water over here. If I feel thirsty, I have my earphones in case I have to. <sighs> Calm down, Linda. If there's something with the audio and I need to change to earphones, I have my earphones ready. And what else? I think that's it. So let me just do it three minutes to one. The interview is at one. She told me Pacific time, so I just translated that to East African time, and then it came to 1 p.m. I want to do a short meditation, <clears throat> and then prayer, and I'm set. What is mine cannot go to someone else. If it's meant for me, it's meant for me. If not, I appreciate the opportunity. Everything always works out for my good, even if I don't know it. I will ask this interview. I will just do well in interviews. It's saying, please wait for the host to start this meeting, which means she hasn't started this meeting. And since this is a Zoom call, she has to start the meeting. It's not like Skype where you can just get in and wait for her. I guess I'll just wait. And you see, my friend Jane is premiering her uh, morning cleaning routine at 1.30 p.m. So I thought that maybe I will do the meeting for 30 minutes and then come and watch, but it's okay. Whenever I'll just see what to do. I'll just wait. There's nothing else I can do. Guys, go and subscribe to her channel. Let me tell you the kind of videos she does in the meantime. You see? The clean with me is monthly grocery, kitchen deep clean. If you like cleaning and stuff, Sunday routine, come kunji hall. You go and subscribe to Jane Mangat. I can't just sit here and wait. Let me just go on with my activities. I've left her message, so if she happens to respond, fine. Yeah, yeah, after <laughs> after all that dram, drama, <laughs> after all that drama and the meeting is not happening, I don't know. Why can't we just communicate on chat? Do we have to do video calls and we are in different time zones? Ah. Anyway, let me go prepare. It's 1 p.m., so let me go warm food for Tara so we can eat as we wait for Jane to me her video and a watch there's something else i want to do on the laptop and i just thought of talking to fellow freelancers or writers or anyone who is in business and they maybe find themselves in this situation so i've gotten a client a potential client. okay i've not gotten the client yet these are just potential, no? The one thing you can do to make sure that you have jobs a lot of the times, 
something that I learned the hard way is to always keep applying for jobs. Even when you have clients, keep applying for jobs. So I've been applying for jobs even when I was doing that book that I was telling you about. So some of those clients, like the one that I'm telling you, I'm waiting for their interview. And another one has also contacted me. They, they can even contact you even after a few days, even after a week. So just keep applying. So this one who has contacted me now is also for a book for something that I've written before. So I just shared samples of other books. Now what they have told me is that they want me to create a table of contents and an introduction to the book, like 500 words, for free. They have not hired me. <laughs> this person has not hired me, but they want me to write an introduction to their book. You know, they can take that book, they give it to another writer to just complete the other pages. They can write on their own. Basically, this person wants me to do work for them for free. And this is very, very common. As a writer, do not do more than 200 words for free. I normally do this. I accept tests. Test. A test can be 200 words. 200 words is enough for you to see if you like my style of writing, whether I write in a conversational manner, if you like my grammar, if you like my sentence structure, my flow, that's enough for you to know. But if not, you want me to do more than that, that's exploitation because there are clients, there are actually clients who exploit writers. Explain this. I don't know. You're like you're far away a bit. So this client wanted something to do with home improvement. I've done articles on that. I've published a, an article on bathroom renovation, which is under home improvement. I shared it. They were so happy about it. But like now, if I give you the job and I want you to do more articles for me, like, can you choose the topics? Yeah, sometimes clients ask for this because they also don't know what topics do well or they just want ideas. And I said yes, and I think I gave them around, I don't know, five topics. They later went quiet and then I was like, is this job still available? They're like, no, unfortunately not. You know what these clients do? They get even 10 people and they ask them, give us ideas, give me ideas for my blog. All of you give this person maybe five topics each. So at the end of the day, this person has 50 articles, topic ideas, 50 topics that they can write about for free and they haven't paid any of you. So I really want this job badly. But I'm not doing free work for anyone. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to do a table of content for him and be like, okay, since you want your book to be about this, chapter one can be the introduction, chapter two can be this up to chapter 10. You know, I'm going to give them an idea of how they can structure the book. And yes, they can take that and not hire me. I'll, I'll just have to be okay with that. It's a risk. But I'm not going ahead, apart from the table of content, again to do, to write them an introduction, yet they've not hired me. When I look at the job post, they indicated the one the a twenty thousand word book, and they indicated that I will provide a very in depth book outline so that most of the research is done for you. You only do the writing. So if they're going to provide the outline, why do they want me to do the outline? I'm not going to do the outline so that they, they can take that and give it to the person that they're going to hire. I don't know. I just have mixed feelings. So I'm done. I decided to just take the risk. Uh, this might just be a good clan to trying to see if I'm the right fit. But you see, what I've done is I've just given him a table of context for this book, what he can include in chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to chapter 10. So it's a risk. Let me send it and yeah, tell him that I cannot do the introduction. This is what I've written. Thank you so much for responding to my proposal. I appreciate it. I've attached the outline I've done for the book from chapter 1 to chapter 10 to give you an idea of the subtopics I will cover. I'll be happy to write the introduction and more when you hire me for this project. I'm so excited to work on this book. I'll be waiting to hear from you. And then I've attached the outline. So without being rude, I've just clearly stated my boundaries or what I'm willing to do and what I'm not willing to do. Wish me luck. This is the next date. I like showing this part of my life too, not just the fun part and the cooking and the stuff. Because I believe we are all trying to be the best versions of ourselves. This can help someone else also and can also give someone who is thinking of becoming a freelancer an idea on the maybe the joys and the challenges. It's not just all rosy, okay? So guys, I'm actually editing this video it's Saturday, so you can watch it tomorrow, Sunday at 2.30pm. So with that said, thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. See you in my next vlog.